My name is Will Larkins. I'm a 17 year old junior at Winter Park High School. I'm the president of my school's queer student union. I've testified in front of the Senate. I, I guess went viral on Twitter for presenting to my history class about Stonewall. The Stonewall Uprising. Essentially, people were fed up with the abuse and Stonewall was the tipping point. Started the Queer Student Union to protect and empower kids at um, Winter Park, and one of one of my first ideas was we need to teach about Stonewall in classrooms. But um, you know, we started the club right when the 2022 Florida's legislative session was started. Mm -hmm. uh, the yeah. DGA bill was filed, so we, that's kind of been the attention. Like our, we put the club's attention towards that, so we haven't been able to do that. I decided, you know, I'm in my U.S. history class. At l the least I'll be able to do is teach my class. So I. I went up to my history teacher after um, a class. We were in the unit of late 60s, early 70s, like Vietnam War, hippie protests, but um, the Stonewall uprising happened in 1969. So I went up to my history teacher after class and I went to ask, are we gonna learn about the Stonewall uprising? Knowing damn well we weren't. I know right. it's not part of the Sunshine State standards. I know she wasn't gonna go out of her way to teach it. She didn't know what it was. And wow. you know, that just speaks to how unfortunate our education system is they don't even teach history teachers that, you know what I mean? It's something you really have to go out of your way to learn about. So I was like, this is my chance to at least educate my class. And she gave me the green light. She was like, you know, thank you for educating me. I think it's great if you educate other people. And I, and I, you know, she could have said no, she could have been like, no, but she gave me a space to teach this. Cop was forcing this lesbian woman into a van and knocked her, out of, knocked her over the head and she became unconscious. And that was the moment that people started throwing objects. I taught it to the class and I asked the girl who sits next to me to take a video of it. My original intention was just to post it on the Queer Student Union Instagram mm -hmm. account and be like, what we're doing? And then I was just like, hmm, I'll post it on Twitter. And then it blew up and then I was profiled by the Washington Post and here we are. I was going through your Twitter and um, I've just been seeing a, a ton of adults actually targeting you and you are a minor. I thought okay. your parents said anything about this and, and what are your thoughts and your feelings on this right now? Honestly, it doesn't affect me. I don't really care. They can say whatever they want. All they're doing is delegitimizing their parental rights movement. Um, they're trying to say they're protecting kids and then attacking kids and they're just making themselves look dumb and I feel fine. So whatever, I don't really care. Do your thing, um, mess up your messaging. I'm thriving. You mentioned that you were sort of going to be under investigation. You were supposed to meet with your principal. What what happened there? I've been under investigation probably 10 times this year. I've never gotten a disciplinary infraction for any of these. I'm very outspoken about the homophobia that I face at my school, which is known within the district for being um, rich, white, homophobic, conservative. It started with pennies and whatever you can find, but then it became bricks from Stonewall's Inn. As I've gotten older, it's been more and more shocking how few, not just straight people, but like queer people know about events like Stonewall or the Violet Scare or Obergefell versus Hodges or, or really any other queer history. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.